you have a name? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't like that at all. Good morning. How polite. Good morning. There you go. I want to make sure you're here. So we're going to start this beautiful rainy spring morning with a beautiful rainy spring song. Now this is a song by Eddie Watkins Jr. that we started doing recently. And we want to give it to you this morning as we warm up. Strong enough to bear the burden that sometimes comes from living this thing called life. Am I wise enough to make the right decision when I'm standing at the fork of the road? Sometimes I wonder and ponder only to Realize I'm not alone and there's nothing I have to do on my own because I am the place where God lives, moves and breathes and has his being. I am the place where God shows up. Have enough to do the things I need to do to take care of myself. Will I have enough of mind and body to live a life of grace and wholeness? Sometimes I wonder. And ponder Only to realize I'm not alone And there's nothing I have to do On my own Because I am the place where God lives, Moves and breathes And has his being I am the place where God Shows up I am the place Place where God shows up. I am the place where God lives. I am the place where God moves and breathes and has its being. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <sighs> Excuse me. I am Neil Pinkman. And we're happy you are. And I am the spiritual director for this community, the Center for Spiritual Living North Jersey. This is a great community, I gotta say. Uh, and we do have a lot going on today. Um, for those of you who are just coming in, you'll wonder why we have 
Marsha LeBeau's books back there on the back table. She'll be doing a book signing of her new book of poetry today. Uh, but to, let's get started. Let's, let's tell them who we are. Who we are we? We are an open and affirming science of mind community where the vibration of love lifts you, the wisdom of the ages inspires you, and the science of mind teaching empowers you. We believe that heaven and hell are states of consciousness that you experience in this lifetime. You are the architect of your life and that it is never too late to know true happiness. I do believe that we had uh, Dave Schwartz today running our Psalm Sunday, so thank you for doing that. Um, there are, uh, and thank you anybody who is new, welcome. Uh, please tell all your friends, come on back. We have a lot of fun here and we grow a lot as well. Uh, there are uh, there's a number of people that make this possible here and you know sometimes it's it's a lot of small things like Ty now Ty's no small thing yeah. however a small thing he does is he brings that banner every week and sets it up every week of our values uh -huh. right And hopefully we look at those values because it was our community that set those values and we put them up there. And one of them that struck me, we got love, healing and forgiveness, community, diversity and inclusion, authenticity and freedom, faith and possibility, prosperity, consciousness, and behind Ty's derriere, we have spiritual education. <laughs> but the one that I really, um, that, that kind of got me this week is the authenticity part. And that's what we want for everybody here, to be your true authentic selves. Yes. And now that we're gonna be doing a wonderful study in the fall of The Power of Myth with Joseph Campbell and the interviews that he did with Bill Moyers. But this just happened to pop up and that's gonna be fun. We're gonna watch the videos, we're gonna discuss them. There's six there, it's gonna be fantastic. But this from Joseph Campbell. The privilege of a lifetime is being who you are. That's mm. yes. all we want to do for you, not for anybody else, just for you. So, uh, and in that line of helping you do this, and we don't do this often enough, we have a leadership team here that's working really hard to work this transition for us into what we want to become. So, stand up as I call your name. Joe Schneider. <laughs> Joe is out in Colorado, but if he watches the tape, I hope you're standing up now, Joe. Thank you. Uh, we have Andrew. Thank you. Edna. Thank you. And Ty. And Jessa, wherever you are, Jessa, you could stand up too. So, you know, thank you all for, for everything. And we're gonna do this together. And with the team we have, we're gonna do it well. So uh, we'll turn this back over now for our opening chant. And uh, then we will have our opening treatment uh, in the middle of that. So see you back in a minute. So as always, 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 we invite you to, to take that deep breath and allow whatever you came in with that does not serve this moment to relieve itself of you. Deep, deep, delicious breath. to wash over you, to permeate your soul, and if you're so inclined, you may feel free to jump in and sing. God, breathe through me. God, feel through me. God, see
God speak through me. God move through me. God live through me. I am an instrument. God feel through me, God see through me, God heal through me, God love through me, God speak. God live through me, I am an instrument, a I am the willing vessel. And what enables me to be that willing vessel is that deep faith. My deep faith in knowing that I am one with the divine mind. And as, as that divine mind speaks, it speaks through me as me. A unique voice, a unique understanding, a unique expression of that divine mind in this world, in this world of form. And from that place, that power and presence that is always there, always has been there, always will be there, each person here and each person on this plane is that same, that same unique expression of that divine mind. So I open willingly to be that expression without hesitation, without shame, without doubt, without denial, knowing that I can confidently express myself as me from deep inside. And that is the gift that I bring to this world, every day, every moment, I create my unique expression of the voice of God. And I know as we come together here in community right now, the combination of those voices is so powerful, so loving, so kind, so supportive. individual voices, all being authentically themselves as that willing vessel. So I release these words into that space, into that, to that, that power and presence that always says yes, that is the love and the law. Knowing that they are done as they are spoken. Enormous gravity. Please join me. And so it is. And so it is. God breathe.
God feel through me God see through me God heal through me God love through me God speak It's May already. Congratulations, we made it. Uh, you have it uh, in the chat online and you also have it in your handout. So please read along with me. I am open and curious as I explore my own inner landscape. By exploring my inner landscape, I will take stock of where I am in my own process, what values I aspire to, and how I can begin to live those values in new and powerful ways. As I begin to have clarity around who I am and the spaces I want to live from, I can begin to create spaces and opportunities for others to do the same. The impact of this process on our collective experience will support our continued vision of a world where everyone is empowered to express and live authentically. And so it is. So it is. All right, a lot of authenticity going on here today. I'm liking it. All right, so everybody up on your feet. Walk around, <laughs> say hello, say good morning, Yay! greet each other, welcome everybody. Enjoy. No, I told her I would do it oh, since she was okay, rushing yeah, yeah. in late, so. Yes. All right. Let's all come back here again. Uh.
All right. So as we have spoken about, we didn't even need to speak about it because you see it all around you. This is a time where peace is desperately needed. There is so much that needs to be calmed down. And it really is important that we pay attention to our spiritual practices and in particular the peace practice. So what I'd like to do, and I put it on the back table today, is this from uh, Thich Nhat Hanh. We have a tendency to think in terms of doing and not in terms of being. We think that when we are not doing anything, we are wasting our time. But that's not true. Our time is, first of all, for us to be. To be what? To be alive, to be peaceful, to be joyful, to be loving. And that's what the world needs most. Absolutely true. So we're aware of the fact that peace starts here within each one of us and then grows from there out. And that's finding our peace within is the best way to start all of that and to share that peace. So let's affirm that by please repeating after me. I am the peace I want to see. I am the peace that I want to see. I know this peace for my family. I know this peace for my family. I know this peace for my community. I know this peace for my community. And my community knows this peace for the world. And my community knows this peace for the world. All right. Um, our reading today is a little bit different. Did not go to the textbook for this one today. But in keeping with being ourselves and how we grow here, I saw this pop up from Rumi. What reading today is from Rumi. And the question he was asked was, what is spiritual maturity? His answer was, it's when we stop trying to change others and focus on changing ourselves. It's when we accept people as they are. It's when we understand that everyone is correct according to their own perspective. It's when we learn to let go. It's when we are able to not have expectations in a relationship and we give ourselves for the pleasure of giving. <clears throat> it is when we understand that what we do, we do for our own peace. It's when we stop showing the world how smart we are. It's when we stop seeking approval from others. It's when we stop comparing ourselves to others. It's when we are at peace with ourselves. It's when we are able to distinguish between need and want, and we are able to let go of that want. Spiritual maturity is gained when we stop attaching happiness to material things. Ah. All right, and um, we will have a song from all these musical types up here. <laughs> and then she needs no introduction straight after that. Straight in from being on tour on the road, Tony <laughs> Hamilton will be our speaker this morning. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so this song is an invitation. Get out! Let's start with the clapping up. Easy one to follow. Here we go. You simply say, get your praise on. Get your praise on. Get your praise on. 
get your praise on. Feel it in my hands. Feel it in my hands. Feel it in my feet. Feel it in my feet. Feel it in my heart. Feel it in my heart. All inside of me. All inside of me. Get your praise. Get your praise on. Get your praise on. Get your praise on. Get your praise on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My point of sharing that is, Ty said, breathe. The first thing I wrote from my talk when I began it was breathe. 
Neil quoted from Rumi. The last thing I'm going to share with you today is a quote from Rumi. You always hear me talk about the synchronicity that I experience, that we experience. And it's so important and so powerful and so profound for me because for me, it is spirit communicating with me. It is spirit saying, I'm with you, I see you, I hear you, I know what you need, I got you, okay? And so when I decided to do what I call my, my what's the word? can't think of the word, anal, my anal way of being, that I had to turn my printer off before I left, that was spirit saying, I got you. And so I'm sitting here this morning, and Ty starts with the amazing song, and I hear Richard on the piano, and I look around, and I'm seeing everyone, and it reminded me of a quote, a quote, an anonymous quote that has just so touched my life. And the quote says, of magic doors, there is this, that you do not see them even as you are passing through. And for me in my life, this center has been a magic door. And you all, have been magical for me and contributed so much to my life. And so I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you. And to just offer to you that this center is maybe so much more than we're aware of. So much more than we're aware of in our lives. And so thank you for letting me share that I think I left my glasses. I hope I printed this big enough. <laughs> it's <is> big. <laughs> Authenticity, I just tell the truth. <laughs> you know what the heck. So actually, this is going to be a quiet, introspective talk because our monthly theme, Just <laughs> Lord case, thank you, know, thank you. Our monthly theme is good to great to grand. I love it because I still have this thing inside of me that says, oh, I can be good sometimes. You know, I can have great experiences, but me being grand, that's a little hard for me to get to. That dance between confidence and the ego. You know, and I don't want to go there because that's a dangerous slope, the ego. But anyway, I digress. Please excuse me. <laughs> Our topic today is inner landscape. I'm going to read a quote from our founder, Ernest Holmes. The road to self-discovery often calls for the clearing away of the underbrush of ignorance, fear, superstition, and the sense of isolation, which has made us feel that we were unworthy, unhealthy, and lost. In the divine providence of God, salvation is unnecessary, but self-discovery is essential. That's from Richard Living, page, page five. And so if you don't mind, I'm gonna ask you to take a slow, deep, calm breath. And I'm gonna ask you please, if you're comfortable, to please close your eyes and take another slow, deep, calm breath. And just imagine for a moment, if you would, that you hear birds outside. It's spring. 
The trees are blooming, cherry blossoms, bright pink, white, magnolia trees are flowering, bright yellow for Cynthia catch your eye. Tulips are awakening, standing strong yet gentle, swaying in the breeze, painting the green sprouts rising out of the ground topped with yellow, red, white. Breathe. Breathe in the sense of spring. Feel the cushion of grass uneven beneath your feet. Okay, maybe you feel a stick or two. It's warm, like last Thursday with a comfortable breeze. And as you are there, witnessing the beauty, you notice yourself. The thoughts are coming. Are they unwelcome? Our thoughts often interrupt the reverie. Okay. Let's go with it. What thoughts came to you? How does it feel? Notice your energy, your energy. Notice your body. Does it feel? No, really. How does it feel? The muscles, bone, skin, your head, your neck, shoulders. your buttocks, thighs, calves, shins, your feet, your arches, your toes. Are there restrictions, aches or pains, sometimes, often? How do you feel the spirit that is you? Are you peaceful? Anxious about a thing or two? Concerned for a loved one or for yourself? You're grateful, blessed, excited, or apprehensive. What do you notice around the corner, up the hill, down the slope, from the innermost recesses of your heart? Remember the magnolia and the forsythia. Colorful, bright, beautiful. See them once again. What colors are you wearing on the inside? What energies are orbiting your internal atmosphere?
verstehen. Are you generally a happy person? Happy with a mist of fog? Happy with bright sunlight? Or happy with a thunderstorm? Look around at the innards of you. Are there weeds, sticks, thorns, piles of rubbish strewn around your heart's desires, your goals and dreams? Is something blocking your view, causing missteps? What comes up? Are there memories from the past? Sitting and having tea with Grandma. Grandpa teaching you dominoes. A teacher that yelled at you and made you scared. Were mommy and daddy there when you needed them? Did big sis come through just at the right moment? What memories are you carrying with you that inform your life? in your inner landscape. Ask yourself, wait, listen for the answer. Feel or touch, except through our own beingness, our own experience, our own mind and heart. How do I identify the presence that we affirm in this teaching? How do I relate to it? Do I? Where and when do I connect with it? The one. Do I? Let's look at this idea that there is a power and presence, all-powerful, all-knowing, everywhere, infinite and unlimited. It expresses as me, my life, my affairs. It is all there is. It creates 
all that is and expresses through all that is. It is in me, it co-creates through me. Is that your experience? So let's play. Let's renovate. Let's redecorate. Let's upgrade our inner landscape. Let's play God through me. Anybody have any debt they'd like to get rid of? See yourself in your mind's eye, opening your hands. Look. Look at your hands. And as you do, see another hand counting out thousand dollar bills into your hand. Just smile, a mm -hmm. smile of gratitude. See it, don't question. See it, feel excited and grateful. Feeling lonely? Do you have troubles with loved ones? Feel love. Just open your heart and feel as much love as you can muster and flow right now. Now in this next moment, See the eyes of love appear before you. Beautiful, deep, open, and filled with light and joy just for you, because of you. Now, allow yourself to feel safer than you have ever imagined. Flow in it. Float. Let your spirit feel free. There's no heaviness, no gravity. Love's got you. Feel perfectly safe and free. Is there something you want and don't see how it could ever be possible, really? Okay, let's be totally outrageous and ridiculous. We are playing God as me. Breathe. Open mind. Open heart. Playful with nothing to lose. See it? Feel it coming on a wave of revelation. See the six winning lottery numbers. See your invention or design coming to life. See your published book in your hands. See your dream car. Dream love. Dream trip, see your painting completed before your eyes. Walk through your new home, see yourself leaving the job you hate, worry free. See it, feel it. There is a power and presence that is love. It expresses in you, as you. It creates by means of you, and yes, you co-create with it. It is within you, and, can, and you can invoke it at will. 
using its qualities and attributes that live within you with love it creates and says yes Ernest Holmes says life waits upon our discovery of natural laws and our discovery of ourselves and our discovery of our relationship to the great whole. Breathe. <coughs> Rumi asked this question. And you, will you begin that long journey into yourself? When you're ready, when you feel comfortable, open your eyes. And we'll take this into treatment. And no matter what I see or experience in this life, there is something deep inside of me that tells me there's more, that I am more, I can be more, and this life can be more, that my life can be better. There is something that tells me that the love that I long for the creativity that urges me is the calling. It is the reminder to go for it, to do, to stretch, to listen, to be, to let go of my fear and try. There is something that mirrors a reflection of the power and presence that I call God. Sometimes it's in the trees, in the magnolia, in the forsythia bush. Sometimes I see it in the ocean. Sometimes it's in the eyes of a stranger that I meet. But it's there. That nagging, that urge, that calling. It is a promise. It is a promise from the one that created me and all of life. That I am free. That the beauty and harmony and wholeness is for me. That my heart's desires are for me. And so, even though I may trip, stumble, fall, hesitate, run away, run back from, there is something inside, something that urges me and calls me forward into full expression of who I was created to be, into full expression of this life. And so I listen. And when I need to, I go within to that inner landscape. And I allow this presence to guide me, to inform me, to nourish me, 
to soothe me, to heal me, to empower me. And I begin again. And sometimes I begin again. And other times I begin again saying yes to that inner urge that tells me there's more. For this, I am so grateful. And so I affirm the willingness, the courage, the inspiration, the love, the affirmation, the yes. I say yes to this urge. And I allow the presence that I call God, Creator, Spirit, to inform me, to guide me, to express by means of me, to live this life uniquely, individually, by means of me. And I am so grateful. I am so grateful for the beauty, the wholeness, the love, the peace that I experience, the opportunity to live, to live, and to do it again. Please close with me, and so it is.
<clears throat> Beautiful. Beautiful music. Thank you all. And uh, Tony, thank you. There you are. Thank you very much. <clears throat> I don't know what happened to your printer, but your mind's working fine. <laughs> so, um, you know, I, 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 in the middle of Tony's talk meditation, the whole process, I thought, listen to that. We talk about the voice of God expressing through us. And it was just beautiful. Is there anything more in line with that than the voice of a little one, an innocent child, our youngest member hiding around somewhere, gone now, I guess, but uh, on the way out. But it was just like, yeah, that's really God speaking, you know. Whatever the heck is being said, you know, sometimes you don't know, but they know. So beautiful and wonderful to have that baby here. Um, <clears throat> Okay, it is time for our conscious giving affirmation. And we need to keep building, you know, your support in every way. We're getting some great things, you know, people volunteering, new programs um, that, are, that are happening and, and all that's good. Do you have a meeting today, by the way, after this? with Anybody <laughs> joining? Should we tell them what it is in case people want to join it or? Well, if you tell me, I'll tell them. Yes. Okay, tell them. What is it? Uh, I put three Maybe you should tell them. <clears throat> I mean, is it an outreach meeting? Yes, it is an outreach Oh, okay. So if you're interested in learning more about the outreach or joining in, see it afterwards. But, uh, so all these things that we're doing in order to build this back, and of course the support from volunteers and doing all these programs is really going to help but also your financial support is really, really appreciated so that we can keep this going. So if you would, please read along with me the Conscious Giving Affirmation. I bless this gift that I give today. I give this gift from my heart, and I give it mindfully. May my gift go further to heal, prosper, and bless this center and all who enter. I accept all good that comes as a result of this flow, knowing that it returns to me multiplied abundantly, and so it is. Okay. Um, before I get going, you know, in talking about people that do stuff around here and, and, and do a lot, what doesn't get noticed enough because it happens so seamlessly on a Sunday is the music. But Celine's the person that makes all that happen. And you, you know they're very good at doing it if you show up and you don't notice any problems, you know, because everybody thinks, oh, it just all comes together, it's easy and nothing, but Celine puts in a lot of time and we appreciate it, so thank you. Um, now, uh, by the way, in getting more people here and more members here in the last two, this past week, we did have a version of the elevator speech that we put in there. So please take a look at it. If you want to have a copy of it, let me know. Cut and paste it from the newsletter, whatever. But uh, that works very well. Also, by the way, since it's a roomy day, the thing that I read from Rumi, there are a few copies that I have up here. If anybody wants them afterwards, feel free to take one. Yeah, it's a good one. Um, we have, as part of the work we do here, uh, we tithe on the income that comes in. So that what we do is we, different organizations from, from whatever we think uh, we're being spiritually fed, fed from. And one of those things we like to collect now, you've seen in the newsletter, is John Bon Jovi's Soul Kitchen where he feeds people with food insecurity and you know it is set up with a link we will be donating uh, in terms of our tithing to them but we thought we'd open it up to everybody because it's it's I can't say enough about it ask somebody who's been there they treat people with dignity the food is fantastic they feed you whether you can afford it or not and they're really really doing wonderful work 
so check it out online and if you'd like to join us in sending more support to them we're happy to do it the link is there so we also have coming up the couple of classes which are really good Tuesday we start speaking of the roomy quote where he says it's when we learn to let go well if you haven't learned that Bill Sarnowski will teach you how because that's the class coming up as part of his awareness is your freedom uh, it's the letting go the pathway of surrender so that starts on Tuesday that is online you can sign up there it's also in the newsletter a week after that I will be starting powering your decisions which is a class based on the book by Raymond Charles Parker um, the power of decisions and uh, for anybody who's interested in ever pursuing becoming a practitioner that goes in there as one of the electives would qualify for that so that's coming up next week uh, we got a lot of good stuff coming up this summer we've got Patrick Harbula coming we're doing the Joseph Campbell stuff in the summer and the she speaks women's gathering goes on all the time and if you need more info on that let us know so we're in good shape aside from the fact that just by a show of hands how many people in here have a real curious hunger? How many? Do you? How many? I'm not sure you're telling the truth. Because I think there's only a few of us that have a real curious hunger here. A curious hunger. Yeah, no. You, unless you've bought the curious hunger from Marsha, you don't have one. Well, now I'll have it. Right? So, yeah. Now, I have a curious hunger, but I don't have a real curious hunger because I left mine at home and she can't sign it because it's at home. So feel free to buy her books and spread the word and buy six of them. Give them out as presents on Memorial Day, right? Like you always do. So, all right, thank you. We got it now. We got two songs coming up here, a change in the program. Is Marsha going to give us an example? Well, I don't know. Can you, do you have one that's appropriate? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Just to prove to you, just to prove to you that I read it, how about the smiling ice cream? All right, here we go. I like that one. Isn't that it? What's the name of it? Oh, there you go. Same thing. All right. Come on. getting used to reading from a book. This is a poetry book, by the way. I shouldn't say that, but hopefully everybody knows. It's a, it's a book full of poetry. That has taken me a, what? We do. Okay, good, okay. Some of us. When ice cream was funny. I stopped thinking for a week in October 2015. It was unexpected and not dangerous like you might imagine. I didn't get run over by a car. I just didn't think about how I crossed the street and I was fine. I had lunch with a friend who recognized something was different. You seem happy, she commented. So very happy, she sighed. Yes, this is a CSL poem, isn't it? Okay. And I was. My mind was blank. I smiled a lot. Many things were funny that hadn't been funny before. Humans running around doing things were funny. <laughs> My kids screaming for ice cream were funny. The sun on my face was exquisite because I actually felt the sun on my face. And I listened. Boy, did I listen. People didn't know what to make of my listening. And then the emptiness was over as quickly as it started. I knew the surest way not to get it back was to try to get it back. So I didn't try. I think about not thinking occasionally, 
along with the billions of thoughts that have been back for years, I say, brain, I know you're not ready yet, but when you are, I'd really like to try that non-thinking thing again. It won't make you obsolete, I promise. You'll just be happy, so very happy. So we're going to keep that sacred, beautiful feeling for just a moment, and then we're going to rock you out of here. So don't feel as if you have to stay seated for this next song. You know me. The song is called I Feel the Spirit by Ricky Byers. Join in. I feel the spirit, I feel the spirit moving in me. I feel the spirit moving in me. I feel the spirit I wanna say thank you 
you don't think we're finished yet, do you? Come on, we got one more. Hey! Thank you for the way that I walk. Thank you for the way that I talk. Yeah, I gotta keep moving. 